the screencast covers the homework for Module 4, Lesson 16. I'm going to give you guidance to help you through some of these problems, but I'm not going to give you the answers. If you know how to use interpret tape diagrams, it will be very helpful to you. Okay, let's read the first problem. Anthony bought an 8-foot board. He cut off 3 fourths of the board to build a shelf and gave one third of the rest to his brother for an art project. How many inches long was the piece Anthony gave to his brother? Well, let's draw a tape diagram. We'll draw the rectangle. The hole is 8 feet. Now, he cut off 3 fourths of the board, so we'll partition this into 4 equal parts. We know that this was cut for the shelf, and this is left over. Now we're going to make a second tape diagram representing what's left over. We'll break that into three parts because he gave one third of the rest to his brother. So we'll just say brother. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to find out how much is left. This tape diagram makes it pr pretty clear what fractional part is left. And once we know the whole and the fractional part, that's easy enough to calculate. Once we find out how much is left, we have to break that into three equal parts, correct? Of which his brother gets one. When we're done with that, we need to convert feet to inches. Don't forget to do that, because they start with feet, and they want to know how many inches for our answer. Okay, let's start with problem two. Uh, there's many parts of this. It's a very complicated problem. I'm going to give you a, a pretty good amount of help with this. We're going to read it first. The Riverside Elementary School is holding a school-wide election to choose a school color. Five-eighths of the votes were for blue. Five-ninths of the remaining votes were for green, and the remaining 48 were for red. How many votes were for blue? Okay, we definitely need to start with a tape diagram. We're going to look at this first part of the statement. Five-eighths of the votes were for blue. So, we don't know the whole this time. Make a pretty large tape diagram. But we do know that five-eighths are blue, so we're going to partition this into eight equal parts. And we have blue for five of the eight parts. And now we have three parts, or three-eighths, remaining. We're going to make a second part to this tape diagram. And I'm going to also take a note that we have five-ninths of the remaining votes for green. So we have the denominator at nine. Notice that when we look at what's left, we have three parts. So I'm going to leave those thirds intact. And we want to break these down to ninths because we have five ninths, so we'll make some dotted lines here. And we know that five of those nine were green. G for green. And we know that the remaining 48 votes, and notice that that is how many? Four units? Four ninths? Are, uh, green, are red, rather. So we know that four units equals 48. We can figure out one unit. Now let's look at these tape diagrams. We know that this is identical to this. So how many of these smaller units, these ninths, are in one of these whole thirds over here? Well, in order to do that, we can count how many dotted partition parts there are, and that would be three units. So if we find three units here, we know what one unit is here. I know that may sound a little confusing, but once we figure that out, we can then look at the blue. We can find out what one of these large units is. 
and then we can multiply that by 5 to get our answer. Let's go and find green. Well again, we can go back to our red. 4 units equals 48. 1 unit, we should know how to figure that out. And the green is 5 units. Again, we're talking about these small units. Uh, how to distinguish between them? We could use a capital U for these larger units and a lowercase u for the smaller units. So once we do that, we're good. And on to the next part. Continuing with this problem, two, we have part C. It says if every student got one vote, but there were 25 students absent on the day of the vote, how many students were at Riverside Elementary? Let's uh, get back to another tape diagram. And well, again, we are going to partition this into eight equal parts. We know that this many are blue. Now if we look back at the previous uh, problem, or part A, we needed to figure out what each one of these units are. Okay, we had to work by working with the smaller parts in the other second tape diagram. I'm not going to get into the details of that now. But once we calculate this, we can find out how many kids are in the whole school. Because how many units are there? Well, we're going to start with one unit use that capital U for the big units, equals something we don't know what that is. How many units are there in all? We have eight units. So we should be able to calculate how many kids voted. But that's not the whole thing. We have to figure out how much eight units are. And then we have to add those 25 absent students. And that does pretty much what needs to be done to complete this problem. All right, we have seven-tenths of the votes. These are hard problems. Uh, were for blue, were made by girls. Did the girls who voted for blue make up more or less than half of all the votes? Support your reasoning with a picture. Okay, we're going to go back to that tape diagram. And we're going to divide it again into eight equal portions. And we know that of these, five eighths were blue. So one, two, three, four, five. We're just going to put a bracket over. We're going to put blue. Notice that the blue consists of how many units? Well, it's five eighths. And we look at this one, two, three, four, five. And also notice that the girls' unit is seven tenths. Okay, so we can make a, another little diagram underneath here, carefully lining these up. And we can again, now we're going to partition that into tenths, so each fifth needs to be cut in half. All right, now let's think about half of all the votes. Half of all the votes is right here. Because that would be four eighths. Now let's take a look at the girls. How far do we have to go to find seven tenths? Does it make it to that red line? Does it make it past that red line? Or does it come short of that red line? That's how you can use a diagram to support your answer. There's also ways to calculate this out as well. But they asked for a diagram, and there's a good deal of help with that diagram. Now what remains is uh, to show your thinking using this diagram. This is one of the more straightforward problems. We have to go back to part A to figure out how many votes there were for blue. And then we have to go to part D to find out uh, what proportion or what fraction of those were girls. From there you ought to be able to put this together. It's really quite the straightforward problem.